YouTube. This your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. And we're just gonna do a quick cook today. Chicken tenders and uh, thighs, chicken thighs, right? Got about an hour before it get dark. So you can see I got my flame going over here. You see the smoke coming up. Like I said, chicken tenders, they already cutting a little strip so it don't take them long. Gotta be careful not to dry them out or whatnot. Uh, not gonna go in the house and season them up. I just put some jerk seasoning on it. Like I said, it's a quick cook on a Sunday. Um, we're gonna make it do what it do. I'm waiting for this to uh, finish cleaning off. Another tip, buy you one of these. Right, while my fire going, you just simply scrub off all the old remnants, burns itself off. And I just use it to uh, twist it around. The whole grill. And then you spray some canola oil in the can, and good to go. We'll be back in a minute. Get ready to put this chicken on. Peace. What's up, America? <clears throat> What's up, America? We back. As you can see, my flame shooting up, uh, whatnot. Uh, like I said, it's dark now. I'm gonna go ahead and put this meat on here so we can go ahead and get to cooking. Uh, just so you can see it, and I'll probably show you a little quick look on it after I'm done loading it up. But uh, like I said, man, just some quick, quick, quick meal. Tenders and uh, some thighs, man. Easy day. Don't take long at all with these. You have to be careful not to uh, dry them out, because uh, that is what will happen. Just load these up, and I'll come back and these thighs, I want to cook them with the skin down in the beginning, and then go from there. Getting down on these thighs. Some old tenders. 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 Chicken. Some thighs. Some thighs for the guys. I don't know who I heard that from, but uh, kind of catchy. And one more piece. Bam. Let me drop this real quick. Load it up. Real simple. Hate using my hands. Get my tongue here in a minute. Anyway, let me show you a close up of it so you can check it out. I got my little light. Yeah. See the fire going. I got the aluminum foil. Uh, fold it up so it don't burn the meat and uh, we'll go from there So I'll see you guys in a minute. What's up YouTube? We back as you can see it's smoking a little bit So I'm gonna go ahead and take the top off because that means some of my chicken is burning uh, Actually the chicken is doing pretty good uh, I got some sausage on here Fire's not doing anything to my meat, it's just burning the uh, the grease off the the uh, sausage I put on as an appetizer. So no biggie on that. I'll show you a picture of it in a minute. Just bear with me. You see my, my chicken still still holding on. No burnt pieces. Not worry about the fire to fire, the grease fire, as we call it, will uh, go out here shortly. So, no biggie there. Just flip it on my tender. See, it's 
see the fire is going down a little bit. Yep. The hardest part is maintaining the fire, y'all. Normally, like people would spritz this with water, whatnot. But I don't do that because what will happen is um, it take your fire longer to come back up and temp. So no need for that anyway, because like I said, my chicken's not being burned. I'll give you a quick look at it here in a minute once I flip all my meat over. And once again, like I said, setting up the uh, the little, I guess a block blocker for your heat is the reason why I don't have any burnt meat. So like I said, I'll show you this in a minute. Uh, to show you how this chicken is looking. It's coming on just nicely. All right. I want y'all to see that. Let me show from this this view. All right, you see my little blocker? The heat is burning, but I ain't doing that to my chicken. So, with that being said, bear with me because I'm doing this myself. Give you a good view. Yep. Anyway, I need to put the top back on this. And then uh, we'll be back in a little bit. Your boy, be back in a minute. Peace. All right, YouTube, we back. I'm about to take the lid off this because I'm pretty sure my chicken uh, done. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah. Get a, you probably can't see it. I'll take it in the house so you can see it. <coughs> uh, these chicken tenders are... Uh, definitely done these thighs don't don't look like they ready yet uh let's see here and the tennis look good yep not dry the key is to if you're cooking chicken tenders is to pull them out before they get too dry Remember, when you are cooking, anything you pull off the grill is going to cook for another, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, you know, after you pull it. So just keep that in mind. So what I do, I just put mine in the microwave, let it sit in there. And uh, I mean, it's already done, so I don't have to worry about that. Ooh, these thighs look good. Yeah. They're not ready yet. Yeah, looking good. All right, let me let you get a close up of that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, we'll be back when they're done. Hopefully. Peace. All right, everybody. I want you to get a. Quick look at this before I put it in the microwave. This is chicken tender. Get a close up. Yep. Look at the grill marks. Yes, sir. Yep. All mine for next week. And preps for uh, my lunch at work. Go ahead and taste this. Put this jerk season on there. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. And you notice, not dry. Anyway, go ahead and put this in the microwave, and we'll be back when the chicken is ready, the uh, leg thighs. Peace. What's up, YouTube? We back. And, see all this sign of product. Of course, I'm going to let you get a look at it in the house. But, uh, once you see that. Yeah, I get a close up in the house. So it has been, it's been about two hours. I said it would uh, give y'all a better view. I said it would be about an hour, I would have, but I forgot I was doing indirect and not direct. Uh, so I will take these in the house 
and sum it up in a minute. Meet you in the kitchen. And finished product. Juicy. Can you see that juice? Squeeze it in. Yep. Juice everywhere. Listen to that skin. Yep. Bet you wonder how I got that skin like that, huh? About two minutes directly over the, uh, look at the juice. Two minutes over the, uh, right over the fire, call it direct, and uh, flip it, you know, every about 15 seconds, get it good and crusty on each side. Look at that. Mm. Look at that, no burn marks, you can see it grease. Anyway, then for next week, don't forget to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Holla at your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Peace.